And I always um, curate something for the company that I'm writing. I try to um, research that company before uh, to see what kind of designs they have. And I choose uh, from my work, you know, five or six way designs. Um, and I do some mock-ups and I prepare something especially for them. And I think that's really important because you show them how their products are going to be uh, looking with your design. My name is Maria. I'm originally from Venezuela in Latin America and I've been living in Spain for the last 12 years. Um, in Barcelona for the last five years. Um, I come from a background on, in graphic design and I have two master's degrees in, here in Spain, one in illustration and one in surface design. So right now I'm working as a surface designer and a watercolor artist. But I'm more like, you know, an organic uh, mind person. If, I, if I'm feeling creative, I will try to take advantage of that, um, no, no matter if it's in the morning or if in the afternoon or in the night, you know. And when I don't feel like very creative or very inspired, but I feel like I need to do some work because, you know, you just need that for you to, to progress. Um, I try to do things that are more mechanic, like or finishing um, a print that it's already almost done or answering emails or contacting people and, you know, I don't know, taking pictures or whatever thing that, you know, gets me going, but without like being super, super productive or super creative. Right now it's like, it's, it's complicated with the routines. I understand that because you get like, okay, how many more days or or how, when are we going to go back to normal and what is normal? And, you know, trying to stay away of uh, the news all the time and social media all the time, I think that really helps to, you know, to connect with other type of things in, uh, in your home. I think it's really important to have, and I think this is like, uh, very, very important to have a space, you know, to, to create, even if you're working by yourself at home or with your parents, you, if you can find a corner to have your ideas, you know, exposed and to have, to be inspired. For me, it's so important to, to be inspired by my home. It's like, I need to be, you know, to have like a balance and, and that is a, a visual balance of, of things that I like. Even if it's something very small, I try to, uh, ex you know, ex uh, display all my ideas and the things that I like and for my trips or for things that inspire me. So I think that's, that's really uh, important. So if you have time um, you, and you don't feel like you're doing anything that you like uh, cre uh, in, with, with, when you're creating something, um, take that time to, you know, just experiment and research. And when I do research, I'm not only talking about uh, Google and, and books, you know, I'm talking about like research on yourself and, and how can you improve and do things that you hate so you can do. If you don't feel like, oh, I love this print, okay, no, but how can I, you know, improve these lines that I'm using or how can I... Uh, improve the the style of drawing, or how can I paint in twenty different ways a bird? You know, like some things that are not really demanding on your, you know, your inspiration or your creativity, but more te techniques that can help you in the future to improve your your work. Everything is going online, right? Everything is going online. And I think design is still um, going to be needed. You know, um, it's going to evolve, it's going to change, uh, but we, you know, the, the virtual products are still going to need, um, you know, design and we cannot think uh, or I don't believe that every, you know, physical um, business 
you know, it's going to close, you know, because we are, we, at least here in Spain, we are going out with new, with that new normal. So that's going to still be there. But I mean, these three months, everything has been, you know, uh, um, slowing down. So um, if you work with a company, you know, uh, and that company is selling dresses and they cannot um, continue open after three months of uh, not selling anything um, and and they have to let you down, for example, I mean, that really sucks. But I know that there's a lot of companies that are like going online and trying to uh, convert their business and they're going to need um, designers and they're going to need surface designers. So I think um, this is not something that is going to affect us uh, in the long term. It's been changing our way to, to work and and our way to deal with clients and to deal with our, you know, our um, office job. But I, I, I believe and I'm, I'm like, um, positive about this. I think there, uh, there are two ways of um, uh, attracting new projects and new clients. And one way is the, you know, it's more, it's like the way that when you create your portfolio and, you know, before, just before this uh, quarantine, I was um, sending a lot of my, uh, my new, like my new uh, CV portfolio that I got, you know, and where I explain and uh, where I come from and where is my inspiration. And, you know, I talk about myself and I, and I, and I always um, curate something for the company that I'm writing. I try to um, research that company before uh, to see what kind of designs they have. And I choose uh, from my work, you know, five or six to eight designs. Um, and I do some mock-ups and I prepare something especially for them. But I, I think that's really important because you show them how their product are, are going to be uh, looking with your design. The other thing is like, if you have a good portfolio online and for example, I get a lot of clients uh, through my Instagram, um, I try that window to be something uh, where I can, you know, show the things that I, that I'm working on and the things that I like and uh, how, you know, potential clients can find you there. I think it's more important to, um, to focus, to focus on uh, uh, updating and posting things that are relevant to your work and, and you can uh, take advantage of that as a portfolio too and a lot of people can find you there. So I think it's a balance of the two things. Good luck and <laughs> thank you so much for, in, for inviting me. And I hope that, um, and that I said some interesting things for, for other artists and that I can help in a, in, in a little way.